All right, people. Welcome back to Daily Duels. So today we are using Teller Nights because it's Tuesday, and just wanted to go ahead and apologize for uh, you know last Teller Night. I know nothing went my way in that video, and I just want to super apologize. Definitely, um, you know, lots of dislikes, more than the norm on uh, Daily Duels, and I definitely understand why because uh, it just wasn't the best of videos, and I understand that. You know, I mean, partially. It was my fault, partially it wasn't, but you know, sometimes when the game doesn't want to cooperate too, it doesn't, but it seems like we definitely opened up better with this hand, so that's good. So we can actually get this duel started. I'm going to go ahead and set this guy bridge. I'm not planning on activating it though, because I do not want to shuffle my Deneb back into my deck. I would rather have him in the graveyard, but I will definitely go ahead and Nova him. So pretty much I'm just using this as a bait right now. So let's see what we are facing today. Ah, uh, so, hopefully we'll have a better duel. I mean, it's already starting off pretty well, you know. You get them dinners. I did put the pot of dualities in here, and uh, I am planning on making this deck, you know, once I get some money on me. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been trying to save up and, you know, get me some money, so hopefully I can, you know, get enough to finish off this deck. I got the, you know, the most expensive cards in the deck when I make it, and, you know. I'm not going to say that I'm going to, you know, run down to, you know, the other side of town and go to, you know, you know, quote, quote, my locals, because my locals on the other side of town, and, you know, win with the deck, but, you know, I might take it and, you know, maybe duel with a couple of people at the college and record, maybe, you know, that's, that's as best as I can get out of it, you know, you know, my friends, you know, I haven't really been playing much, but I know at the college, you know, they still play, and, you know, if I can make this deck, finish it up, and take it down to college and duel, then, you know, and record that, maybe I can get some videos. I'd have to bring my video camera to college, which would be kind of weird, but, you know, if, if that's what I need to do to go ahead and bring you guys the content, then, yep, you know, I, I want to try harder with the channel, you know. Uh, you know, Lunar got his computer fixed, if I'm maybe making me a new channel art, you know, we're talking to uh, Demetrius, and, uh, you know, hopefully both me and him, since we're, you know, friends... I wouldn't say friends, more like acquaintances with Mega Capital G, that uh, that uh, hopefully we can go ahead and uh, get in contact with Mega Capital G. Oh shit! You can add one to your hand. It's kind of weird. I'm thinking about Nova in that. You know what? I'm gonna Nova that because I don't want you to search. You know, I know how powerful this field spell is. So, I'll go ahead and over you just so you don't get to search. You want to summon that and poke me for 15? More power to you. You can have that. Don't even what I'm mad at. <sighs> Alright. Summon you. You summon you. You search. Activate you. Shuffle you back into the deck. Summon Vega. Vega summon Altair. Activate, I mean, and then XC and to Delteros. And then equip this with him and become invincible. That seems like a great plan. Unless he has MST. In which case, if he had MST, he should have blind spaced me. So. I pretty chill. You go ahead and search me, Vega, because I already have an Altair. Can't spot some monsters except for Talonites, but to tell you the truth, this is a pure Talonite deck. Like, there is no other monsters. I took out the Kages, the Goldfish, um, the, the Star Seraphs. This is a pure Talonite deck, so I don't have to worry about that, so. So you, go back in the deck. I'll summon you back later. We'll go ahead and summon Vega. Vega. Go ahead and summon your nuke. So at this point, you're just a Talonite monster. I'm not going to use you. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and next see. There's no point in going to the Trev. It's better to go into Delteros. Yeah. XC into... Delteros. And Del have Delteros use the effect. He has to the net. Blow that stupid Supply Squad up, because I hate that card. And we'll go ahead and equip him with the Invincible. And now we'll just go ahead and attack over your monster. You'll go back to the extra deck, that's fine. But at this point, unless you have like an MST or such, I'm an invincible Deltoros. I love this equip card, you know. That, uh, that super heavy samurai guy was talking shit about this card, but if you can get this card off, it's so fucking powerful. 
Like I swear to God, it is it is it is so fucking powerful if you can pull it off right. All right, so what's stronger than two than one Deltaros? Two Deltaroses. So she says, "I got these two. I don't mind overextending a little bit and pushing for this play." Yeah. X sees two into another Deltaros. Detach to the Neb again. Pop a card. And you pop a card, you know, since I have pure Talonites, I don't have to worry about, unless, you know, I've accessed some other XCs in my deck, I don't have to worry about, uh, uh, this card messing up. Destroy everything. Yeah, a thousand light points left. You're facing down two Dutch houses, and one of them is invincible. So literally, I can go activate this, get you back, summon, 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 and do the play again. Like, this deck may not be, you know, a competitive version of it, but sometimes it's just really good and fun. And then, some, and then you know, like last video where I wasn't getting anything. That's fun. So, Deltaros, come back to me. Sure, I'll go ahead and summon the Deneb for my deck. I still want to keep some of my Teller Knights in there for some place. Yeah, you can give me Vegas and I can go Vega, Altair. Altair, some of my Deneb, you know. And bam, another Delta Rouse. Bam, another Delta Rouse. Bam, another Delta Rouse. So, clearly, I'm outpacing and, and crushing him, which is, which is what I like about this deck, you know. Also, I like stars, so. Go ahead, activate your uh, counter trap. You thought that was gonna work? I'm invincible! <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's like, I'll stop you with this! Like, no. <laughs> Give me you back. This card is so fucking good when it gets off properly. I'm a 3000, I'm like fucking killer right now. Like, unless you have MST, I'm straight up unaffected. Unaffected by my opponent's card effects. It's so fucking powerful. But no, that fucking that fucking super hammer samurai was talking all that good shit. And he was like, nope, see that card fucking sucks. Like, no. No nigga. No nigga. I'm fucking I turned my Deltaros into a goddamn killer. Like if that ain't scary. I don't know what is. Let's wrap it up. Last, Deltaros. Oh, well, that's one. Whew. So yeah, it all started because I got that Deneb. Let's go ahead and get another duel one. Bear back. All right. Hopefully, we'll open up pretty decent again. All right, you're going first. I mean, I got the Deneb. You can't complain about that. Let's see what we're facing. You're going first, so are you going to take it slow? Or are you going to reveal what you're playing? Is that a card? You're going to take it slow. All right. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna summon Deneb. I'm short. Sometimes just one Deneb can be a great start off point. Nope. What's that? You think about bottomless in him? This is the guy you bottomless. Because you don't want him in the graveyard. Hmm. I'm trying to think why I want to roll to search. You know what? I'm gonna save it. I was so busy thinking about what I wanted to roll to search that I forgot that you, sh you should always set me in the face too. That was my mistake. Oh, well, I need you to kill my Deneb before I can go off my place. Deneb needs to be in a graveyard. I'm just trying to figure out if you're gonna do some type of play to fuck me up. You know. Yosin. Alright. Sky to be had the Yosin must be controls return to that hand. Let bring down to you can target one card to opponent control return and take it to hand. During your end phase, this card did not destroy this card. Alright. So it's gonna summon a Yusenju and I guess return it to the hand, I guess. 
So you send you versus Telenites. All right, let's see who's the stronger tier 1.5 deck. Even though mine's uh, a pure Telenite deck and definitely not the ones that you would take to a, a tournament. Huh. Okay. So I guess if you update double, it goes off double. I want to figure this out. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this card being used in uh, Yosen since uh, the anime. So, ooh, and he's playing right too. I thought they only played left. Looks like he's actually using. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and return my Deneb to my hand. You know what? That's totally fine. This is, I mean, that seems like a terrible idea. You know? Killing it's a bad idea, but returning it to my hand is also a bad idea because then I still get to summon it in search, so... Alright, so you're gonna summon another one. That's fine. I said, are you gonna kill me or are you gonna spin me? Either way, I really don't care. And you kind of just revealed, like, your entire fucking hand in one fucking play, so... No, you're not going to attack. You're just going to say, fuck it. I'm going back to the hand, Mike, okay? Go back to the hand, then. Yeah, both of them go off. No. No, that's fine. Come back to me, cards. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure you out. Vega. Go ahead and hit me with your counter trap card. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Try to push for as much damage as I can right now. That's pretty much the gist. So go attack, attack. And then maybe even switch out if that's enough damage. The only problem is once I do this play, I won't be able to, uh, you know, XC until I cowboy or something because I can only special summon Telenite monsters as long as that monster remains on the field. So, I'm trying to wonder if that's enough damage. No, it's not. It's 22 left. <sighs> My pun resources. It would be better just to keep it the way it is. Despite these monsters being weak, you know, I totally don't mind them going to the graveyard. You know, I have the warriors returning alive, and I'm still up on resources right now. Okay. So I'm wondering if the, if the back row is your counter trap card. Mm-hmm. I said your deck may be spirits, but that's the problem. Your deck is spirits. Returning my Tower Knight monsters to my hand isn't doing anything. I'm going to overload you with strength. And out-resource you. You're going to compulse one of my monsters? You're going to compulse him? So you're just going to go up to a 26 beater and then try to return to, I guess? Wow, oh, that's fun. If you gotta neg yourself with Compulse just to pull off that play... Mother, mother, Danny. <laughs> you still have a lot more to work on. Alright. That's all you got? That's, that's, that, that was your grand finale play. That. Right there. Ugh. Well, I hope that this piece of card right here is something to end this, because if not... This duel is over. Hmm. This duel might be over anyway. Altair? Even if it's the counter trap card. Even if it's your secret technique and it's secret move, and it is, that's fine, because I'm going to go attack with the neb and then switch out in game. So, in the end, I just thought resourced you. See, the problem is, is that despite you spinning my cards back to my hand, I still steal counters resources 
You know, if you were putting them back to the deck with that other card, ooh, then maybe we could talk. But simply just putting them back to my hand, it's not enough. And that's the reason why you lose. All right, you know what? I got time to get one more in. So, and I'm having fun with the deck. The deck is working. All right, bear right back. All right, last duel. Okay, give me. A, I haven't seen pot ever since I put it in there. I'm running triple pot, and I haven't seen one. I mean, not that I've really needed it because I've been opening up with either Rona or Deneb. There's Deneb. Oh, that, wow. There's pot. All right, that's fine. Well, I'm planning on taking the duel so, so this opening turn anyway. So, that's totally fine. Even got Fingers Chain, so, you know, using it over and over again with Triv is not bad. So, we'll go ahead and get myself an Altair, and then we'll pot and hopefully get a Vega, or something along those lines. Yeah. Like I said, pot, you know, I don't special summon all the time. Ah, the thing is, the Nova would be so good, but then if I get it, it'll be obvious, while the Vega will allow me to go for my plate next time. I'm gonna grab the Vega. Alright, set the Phoenix Chain, I'll set the Sky Bridge, because if I have to, I can always, which I, for some reason, didn't even think this, I can always Sky Bridge and turn the Deneb into an Unuk, and Unuk can send the Deneb, so I'll still be okay. As long as Deneb is in the graveyard. No, that's fine. So I'm going against Heroes, I'm assuming. That's what your effect pay costs? Yeah, it's Heroes. How about you just get chained up? How does that sound? I like it when you neg. So, as you can clearly see, the Neb is not going to be dying this turn. But if I sky bridge into Unuk and Unuk sends the Neb. You want to snatch down my monster? No. <laughs> Get your fucking dirty ass snatch still off my monster. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Whew, so good. Ah, that's good. I'm glad I, I you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't realize it earlier in this video. Ah, the problem is. I don't really have time for another video. I still gotta record Vitamin Y and, and render and upload all this stuff before I gotta get ready to go to college. Yeah, this is actually recorded on Tuesday for Tuesday. I just wasn't in the mood to be recording on Monday. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, I'm gonna finish making this deck. You know, I got all the expensive cards. That's the thing. I got the Deneps. I got the Novas. I think I got, like, two Deltaroses, so I need to get one more Deltaros and then the Tribs, which, you know, aren't too expensive. And, uh... Yeah, bam, there you go, you know, then, you know, the Fiendish Chains, the Calls, I, you know, I could probably borrow the, borrow the cards from my, Calls from my Ubell deck, I need to finish making that too, and yeah, and this deck will be made, I'll run down my college, go ahead and record some duels with this deck, so, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Klebola, or Klees. Alright guys, thanks for watching.